you know, I'm making a comic page from each knife. So, this surface flatness is useless for me. Look at this. Concave, extremely. You know, convex edge is like this, like a uh, crumb shell, not flat. So, flatness is useless. Okay. And round motion is important to keep this belly curve beautiful. Straight grinding uh, tend to straighten the belly curve. No good. Round motion is good. And as you see, for convex edge, this tone sharpening is not strict, kind of loose, very loose. I think I finished. Okay, so I'll show you interesting thing. Okay, this knife and this knife both uh, ripped here. However, primary grind is very different on each knife. You know, this 551 is kind of saber grind. From this line to the edge, uh, pretty steep convex uh, primary bevel. So, my self made edge is pretty high line, uh, starting from the high line. But this knife, Ritter Ripkian, is from the factory. Uh, design itself is high grind, very thin blade. So, my self made uh, secondary edge starts from uh, low line. I mean, this edge portion is narrower than this saber uh, bevel uh, uh, knife. However, the result is the same. Uh, this is mm, 1,000 grit, uh, medium stone. Okay, all finished. Around here, dangerous. Mm. Why putting my hand on the edge? Mm. Okay, do it slowly. Okay. However, I want to use every portion of this angular stone. The stone edge is dangerous with my hand on, finger on the edge. Okay, this edge is strange, and this side uh, narrow, and uh, this side very wide, you know, I mean, this secondary edge, my edge, and uh, these scratches are made by me now uh, from sharpening. If you don't like this uh, scratches or some, you know, unevenness this side wide and this side narrow, 
you shouldn't use stones for sharpening. You know, sharp maker will not this ugliness. Ugly, however, the result is very different. Spark. Mm. This final uh, 3000 stone is uh, something like uh, skating on the ice, you know, very uh, slippery, very smooth, comfortable, like a skating. Okay, final knife. Wow, very comfortable. Okay. Next, uh, I'm going to leather strop. So, uh, no need to be uh, thorough, you know. Finished. Okay, no problem. 3000 stone is very comfortable. Mm. However, if you don't like uh, this, uh, you know. Uh, Logo mm, is, you know, wounded and, uh, you know, unevenness. This side and this side is different. The edge uh, line is different. If you don't like uh, this kind of ugliness, stone sharpening is not yours. If you like real sharpness and toughness, this uh, kind of loose uh, stone sharpening and weather stropping is yours. Hi, knife people. This stone is my pride. You know, very deep concave made by me uh, since. Um, nine or ten months ago however no problem on me my hand or wrist moves on the concave naturally during shopping my intuition you know so i have used this crazy stuff Long, no problem. Green carbide, rough stone, however, very soft and efficiently make the edge uh, very shallow and you know, first stage of my uh, semi convex edge. This is the most important stone. I have uh, 1000 and 3,000 stones for finishing, you know. Finishing is not uh, very strict for me on the stone because next I go to this uh, strop uh, to make the edge convex. So the VH must uh, not, uh, not have to be sharp enough. So, the final stone is just grind off the scratches or micro serrations from the edge made by this stone. And uh, after the stone, I go to this thing, black compound loaded leather, and pretty thick. It takes the edge pretty deep, so the edge naturally 
goes to convex. Uh, relatively putting much power uh, for around uh, five minutes uh, continuously stropping at each knife. Then the edge uh, goes to convex. And next, this is white compound loaded leather. And very thin, uh, doesn't take the edge uh, very deep, so finishing, very good. This is my mm, semi-convex edge, mm, very useful in hunting. I don't know in uh, bushcraft. Some bushcraft people say that convex edge is not very good for biting wood. I think it is sure, you know. I intentionally make uh, this convex edge not biting the bone. Biting is no good. Hitches the bone and can get microchipping. You know, sliding on the bone is better. This is bone, and sliding on the bone is better. If it bites. In the bone, no good. So for me, convex edge is better than uh, a genuine scandi edge or uh, V edge. And uh, of course, uh, my convex edge is sharper than factory V edge. Uh, maybe angry is uh, sharper. And uh, easy maintainability. You know, after hunting, I always strop, uh, not always, however, in many cases, strop with this uh, maintenance uh, strop thin leather. Easy maintenance. This is all. Just one minute and sharpness is again restored mm. so all my knives uh, flat bevel convex bevel all my knives are convex uh, these two knives are brand new so not yet convex uh, knife works uh, Ontario Rot1 folder. It's a great design, Betty Carp. And I'll say it, uh, not bad. And uh, inexpensive, affordable. Good night. This is also affordable. Back Vantage. And this is a uh, brand new version. Uh, Sandvik, Swedish steel. And uh, Boss, special steel. Uh, it must be tougher than 420HC. And uh, this is the shortest in my hunting uh, photos. This is kind of longest. So, it's my standard. Please compare. The handle length is mm, pretty identical. Mm, yeah. And blade length is a hair bit short. You know, 
However, in my opinion and experience, shorter knife should have strong belly, slow knife, and longer knife should have shallow belly, fast knife. This is very good as a fast knife, and this is very good, must be, as a slow knife, careful knife. It's a great knife, absolutely, not yet used though, but I know that in advance. And uh, this continued knife, uh, Long Hong, uh, made by Long Wolf, now Benchmade, it's S30V, quality steel. Mm, I think, I guess, uh, Benchmade is now issuing uh, the same knife, a very similar knife, of uh, different steel. Mm. This crescent shape, uh, I don't like basically when it had full crescent to here, you know. This is drop point here, and uh, this point stop the crescent so it's very good backstrap remover and also skinner it's a great field dressing knife absolutely this thin handle is very comfortable in the dressing in various holding very free and, uh, you know, dependable handle. G10, texture is good. It's a good knife. And of course, uh, Brave Tech Professional Hunter Magnum is great. My most favorite folder. Tim Wegner design, S30V. My semi convex edge. And I have the full convex version. Uh, it took me uh, six hours to make this knife full convex edge. The same knife, different coloration. And uh, this is extremely sharp, too sharp. However, S30V can take, can hold its edge very well in touching bones, in deer dressing, no chipping. I have never experienced any chipping at all. It's a very good knife. However, now I think this semi-convex is enough. This semi-convexing starts from this line pretty low compared to the full height convex, however, pretty high compared to the VH. This is very good uh, starting line convexing, toughness for toughness and sharpness, both standing in this edge. And uh, you know, this uh, combat knife, very sturdy holding. No wiggle at all. However, once choking up, three finger remains here and pinching with two fingers. Very free, good backstrap remover. And uh, I said uh, a wrong thing during shopping. Those scratches were made in use in gathering uh, edible plants not made during sharpening, uh, you know, scratched uh, bread is a pri pride. Mm. Cool knife, I'll say it still. It's not just a practical knife. That's all. I have just eight folders for hunting backup knife. Yes, backup. 
And uh, popular one, I don't think uh, it's pricey and not popular. Blade tech. And I don't think Witter is very popular. This is discontinued knife. These three knives are popular knives. AK-47 is kind of uh, tactical, so not very popular for hunters. Not used yet, however, uh, pretty good. Maybe this belly and relatively a bit short blade. Pretty good. And uh, long and strong belly, mismatching, kind of. Great! However, not the best, I think. I think I love this knife best uh, in, you know, regular choice. Actually, uh, special choice, uh, real hunter, this is great. And uh, this is great. And uh, this knife is not for hunting, I think, for camping or general outdoor food prep or something. Anyway, in hunting, great. However, mm, general use and uh, which is better uh, thinking of, I think this is a better knife. Benchmade 551 Gliptilia. Thank you very much for watching. See you. Bye bye.